Triff Gaming versus Jojo ASMR, the battle of the two champions, Australia versus Macedonia. Who is going to win this battle of the two titans? Well, you guys, you're going to see an absolutely amazing match. Shout out to my boy Jojo. This is an absolutely amazing match. We filmed together at YCS Har uh, Hartford. Let's get straight into it, guys. Make sure to smash the subscribe button and smash the like button. Check out my boy Jojo's channel. He has like maybe 10 million subscribers now, 10 billion thousand. But I'm going to put up 10 billion thousand negates. So who's going to win? 10 billion subscribers or 10 billion thousand negates? Comment down below who you guys think is going to win. I know who's going to win. The best player on the planet, baby. That's who's going to win. Australia versus Canada. Starting now. Let's get it. Let's go. Triff Gaming versus Jojo. Let's go. This is the real Jojo, okay? Not the Jojo super flamboyant uh, bizarre adventure. No, no, no. This is the real Jojo, baby. Sadly, the real Jojo did brick here. You want to know why? Because he let us brick. He knew that he's playing the best deck in the planet after pendulums. So my man's sets two with a brick. I open the greatest hand in the universe. This is Oaf Dragon. Star Pendulum Graph Wisdom Eye. Oh, baby. Trigger Corner Graph of the Wisdom. Oh, my God. Pendulum is so good. This format, guys. I love this deck. The Wisdom Eye will destroy itself, triggering the Corner Graph Sorcerer and triggering the Star Pendulum Graph to add the Harmonizing Magician to our hand. And at this point, I'm like, okay, he has two sets. What sets can he possibly have? One of the sets is probably uh, the Subscribe to Triff Gaming Trap card, which you guys should all do right now. And I think the other one is the spell card that says subscribe to Jojo ASMR in the in the comments. Let's go. We go beyond the pendulum. That is going to get hand trapped. We get Ash Blossom early as well. This is just not enough against the best deck, bro. This is this is the pendulum greatness of the universe. This is not going to be good enough against the best deck. Two cards left. We're going to summon Chronograph, Wisdom, Harmonizing. Wow. Trigger beyond the pendulum effect to be able to pop. Two cards in the field. Popping his card. Popping my card. Scooping it up. Let's go. Game one goes to the pen guard. Let's go. Game one to the pen guard. Absolutely amazing. We are now going to prepare ourselves for the next battle. Now, what I'm going to do, you guys don't know exactly what he's playing. I'm going to take us right now. He's playing Sword Soul. Sword Soul does brick, and I have many tricks to destroy Sword Soul. I don't know if you guys saw the side deck over there, but I have a few other tricks to destroy Sword Soul, which I've decided... For the first time back, we are doing a Patreon video today on how to destroy Sword Soul. So if you guys want to get a more in-depth knowledge on how to defeat Sword Soul in this meta uh, for TCG Duelist as well. Don't worry guys, Master Duel will see its return very soon on my channel. Go check out the Patreon where I uploaded my very first video in a while on Patreon on how to clap Sword Soul into the Shadow Realm. We are now going to go on to game number two. I'm hype, baby. I just came back from the gym, and all I know is that I'm going to bench press the Sword Soul deck down into Oblivion. I'm going to make my boy Jojo wish that he played Pendulums forever and ever and ever and ever. As you guys see over here, I'm missing six side deck slots sleeves, and I did not get new sleeves yet for the tournament. This was at YCS Hartford, which, you know, we did get clapped up to Anti-Spell and, and the Likes and Dimensional Barrier, which is, is a big part of this meta. You know, this is a big part of the meta. Which I think moving forward, I do have a secret sauce deck on how to play Pendulum moving forward to play around uh, stuff like Dimensional Barrier and Anti-Spell in the best way possible because those cards do destroy us. Uh, here, Jojo's going to go first and he goes Sword Soul Moye. Reveals, I'm like, that's okay because I know that in my hand I got Pot of Prosperity. Now, what Pot of Prosperity does in a side deck that has a bunch of board wipes is it actually searches Regeki. So I'm like telling him, yeah, go off, my guy. Go off, no problem. Because I know very well that I'm just going to regeki his board into oblivion. And we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Uh, now, I do know that my friend Jojo does play six ways at Dimensional Barrier in his side deck. So I do really hope that he does not get access to it. Because as long as he doesn't have a Dimensional Barrier, we're going to be A-OK. -okay. The Pendulum Magician version deck is so good this meta against the whole meta. With the exception... You know, everyone is playing Trap Trick. Everyone's playing... Sorry, not Trap Trick. Everyone's playing Dimensional Barrier. Everyone's playing Anti-Spell. These cards are, guys... You know, I'm not going to cap. These cards are definitely big problems for Pendulums. He sets one! I'm like, oh my god. Okay, if this is literally anything but Anti-Spell Dimensional Barrier, we're going to send my boy packing back to Straya with a 2-0. Uh, standby phase goes by and there's no Anti-Spell. I'm like, let's go, baby. I'm down for this. We're going to Prosperity for a uh, few. I'm like, okay. And then he goes Dimensional Barrier. Ah, Dimensional Barrier! What a play to Dimensional Barrier right away because I could have easily drawn into Red Reboot. 
And so good play there by my boy Jojo. Because if I got Red Reboot there to stop the anti-spell, uh, sorry, to stop the Red Reboot, then we could have played freely. So at this point, I'm like, okay, you know what? I can't play. I can't play right now. So I'm actually forced to regeki his board. So I'm going to regeki his Shisha because, you know, I'm under D barrier and I can't do anything. Uh, at this point, there was a better play I could have done, uh, which is gonna, I'm going to speak about stuff like this on the, on the Patreon video, where I could have gone Pen Call, okay? Add Double Iris Magician. You guys hear that? Pen Call, add Double Iris Magician. Enter Battle Phase. Attack Shishao. Let it get destroyed. Add Pendulum Graph Trap Card. And then I regeki him. That makes it so I will have a pen graph to stop his place. It didn't matter because he had Vashuda, so he could have just Vashuda bounced it anyways. But at this point, I uh, he did a very genius play. He knows my side decks, all dark holes and stuff like that, and he knows Dimensional Barrier just auto stops me. So he saved all his resources in his hand to be able to OTK me into the next uh, uh, episode of Duel Knight, uh, which is basically what he's going to do here. And uh, just like that, it's going to be OTK. Good, well, Very well played, very well played. Uh, prosperity, uh, use the bear before prosperity in case I read reboot. Uh, you know, save his resources, you knowing dimensional bear is going to destroy me. Save his resources to ensure that he'll be able to OTK because if he had a big ass board there, I could have easily regeki him and it would have been good. So that's okay. We're not going to set up for the greatest deck in the planet going first, and that is none other than Pendulum Magicians. So if you guys got this far so far, you guys are about to witness the comeback, the comeback, baby. The comeback greater than Michael Jackson comeback. The comeback greater than my hairline. This comeback is about to literally change the entire world of Yu-Gi-Oh. This comeback is going to put energy into the life of all Pendulum Duelists. Uh, yes, we have lost game two, yes. But guess what? Konami released a match. This is not no master duel. This is TCG. I have two games to defeat my buddy over here. So I'm not going to allow... Uh, us to de be defeated i'm going to make sure that we win for all of pendulums and for all of straya let's go game three is about to start and i'm knowing my head i know in my head i'm like okay 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 i got beyond the pendulum there is no shot that trip gaming is going to break with beyond the pendulum around it's just, it's just literally impossible it is mathematically physically and jokingly impossible because i got beyond the pendulum right so all hope is lost for my friend Jojo ASMR. Uh, he is going to power shuffle. Not that it matters because no form of cards in history is going to save my friend over here. And we are going to shuffle up. And I say, you know what? I, I look at my hand. I'm like, my friend, GG to you. GG to you. I'm going to activate Curtain Razor. I'm going to Duelist Alliance. My Duelist Alliance search, I'm debating playing around Droll. But I'm like, I don't care about Droll. That doesn't exist. I'm going to go Star Pen Graph. Curtain Razor. I'm going to go Star Pen Graph. Normal summon double iris. Now triggering the effect of beyond the pendulum is channeling two. Star pendulum graph is channeling one. Star pendulum graph is mandatory. I get double search now. Double search, baby. Oh yeah, double search. Oh yes. I'm gonna put up the biggest board that Sword Soul's ever seen in their life. Sword Soul is gonna be trembling in their boots. They're gonna be quaking in their boots. There's gonna be like a, like an earthquake because JoJo is gonna be trembling that hard because of my massive 10 billion in game board. Like, do you guys hear this earthquake right now from my opponent trembling? No, that earthquake was actually in the bureau. Goodbye, my beautiful pendulums. A massive problem, a massive problem of beyond the pendulum is that it plays it in the bureau. Oh my god! I am sick to my stomach, okay? I set a mystery card over here, making it seem like it's time pen graph. Guys, it's fucking artifact scythe. <laughs> I set an artifact scythe. I even go purple poison effect with wisdom eye, putting a purple poison there to make it seem like it's the most obvious pen graph ever. You guys see that? How I just go wisdom eye, bring up purple poison, making it seem like it's a pen graph? You guys gotta do these little plays. It's a scythe. I'm trying to bait my opponent into... I'm trying to bait JoJo into using Yazi to pop my scythe. I've done this before. Uh, doing stuff like this. Like, if, if I just kept Wisdom Eye, uh, uh, you know, it's obvious, you know, maybe it's like, uh, you know, maybe it's a scythe. Maybe I'm just not going to pop it. But by going Oath and Purple Poison, uh, by doing that play, I make it seem like it's a Pengraph set because this is Purple Poison on the scale. You're going to think to yourself critical questions like, yo, why is it with Triff... But Pro Poison the scale. Because it's an obvious pen graph, right? That's why you gotta do smart plays like that. Where you put Pro Poison instead of the Wisdom Eye to trick your opponent to try and pop the set, even though it's an artifact scythe. 
So I'm trying to do it, and he's trying. He's thinking hard here. I'm like, come on, man. In my mind, I'm like, I I I'm not saying anything because if you bait your opponent, like, hey, bro, yeah, you should pop my set, bro. It's so obvious you have a scythe. So you just don't say anything. You just sit there and like, uh, go ahead, and feel confident. Uh, be confident. You know, be like, you know, confidence in your eyes. And uh, I'm just hoping he goes into it. JoJo's a, a great player. Uh, potential future YCS Australia champion. So I'm just hoping he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna fall for it. Uh, but I, I hope. I hope he does. Uh, here, there's a lot of lines of plays that he has. Many lines of plays that he has, and he's gonna go into. Uh, his next play here is gonna be Shishao. Sadly, if I did have the pen graph, I was golden because I could just pop the Shishao and the eventual long yuan that comes out on the field, and I literally would be in a winning position. With Star Pengraph uh, getting added, but I did not have it. I did have the Artifact Scythe here. But, you know, you never know. Maybe he pops it. Who knows? He goes along. You want out here. He was even debating it. He was like, I overheard Yazi. I overheard these lines of plays. Like, uh, like Yazi, he maybe has a line to add Hara over here. Like, you know, I, I overheard these lines of plays. I'm like, come on. I'm like praying to Yuyo Sakaki. Like, come on. How is that pronounced? Yuyo Sakaki. You you are so cocky because I'm cocky because I know that he's gonna find some way. He goes at Ashina. The second I saw Ashina, I'm like, please be at Hara. Brings out Vishuda, and I'm like, literally Sag, Sag, Sag. And uh, guess what, guys? He realizes that I have game. He has game on board. I might as well just enter battle, <laughs> and we get super cooked. He goes into Link One, bats the token, attacks for game. Ah, we lost. Plus, you do against my boy Jojo. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, both for me and Jojo. Let's go.